Okay, Gun Collector 007 here with just a quick video on what I think is uh, the best holster for the Ruger Wrangler. And uh, I've had this gun uh, about 10 days, and so far I've tried four different holsters. One's already gone back to Amazon, and um, this is what I'm left with. Uh, so originally I was trying just one of these out bags inside the waistband holster, which it does feel nice, but... Um, not really comfortable wearing this uh, gun inside the waistband. It's just rather big. And unless you wear it at 3 o'clock, um, not too comfortable. You can make this an outside band if you take uh, this little pocket clip off, but I don't feel uh, it did justice to the gun. Um, the other holster that I was using was this one that I already had for a six gun. And this is just a classic uh, Western style holster. Um, it's nice. Um, the only problem is with this particular one is it's a very low ride. So in other words, if you put your belt right there, um, this really hangs down low on your pants. And if you're trying to do any type of concealed carry, um, this is not going to work. Now, if you're using it for cowboy action shooting or reenactments or something like that, you can do that. Um, but anyway, it didn't work for me. So while uh, perusing Amazon, as I do, um, I came across this one that you see before you. And this one is by DeSantis, and this is called the Wild Hog, Wild Hog Ambidextrous Ruger Wrangler Holster. And uh, I gotta tell you, I love it. Uh, 30 bucks approximately, and uh, it's a nice holster. It comes with uh, how to use it, uh, how to break it in. It tells you about, it's got tension screws and all that stuff, which I've only played around a little bit, and how to snap a snap on. If you don't know how to do that, I can't help you too much. But what's nice about this holster, and I, I wore it a couple of times already, um, first off, it's a mixture of beautiful leather and suede, and it is all top grain leather. And um, so you see this beautiful brown leather and then the light suede right here. Um, that's number one. Two, it's going to be worn outside the waistband, but with a regular golf shirt like I wore today, only that much of the actual holster uh, was sticking out. And where I was, um, I didn't get any comments, so I imagine no one noticed it. So um, that's that. So that's a nice feature. So it could be almost a... Um, you know, concealed carry type holster, even though it's outside the waistband. Um, the other thing is it is ambidextrous. So that means it could be worn strong side. So if you take your belt like so, and you stick your belt through there like that, this could be worn if you're right-handed, just like that, right on your right hip like that, and uh, very, very comfortable. And then it could also be worn in a cross draw. So you can take the belt and stick it across the front. Sorry about the hitting of the camera, but such is life. Um, you could also wear it cross draw. So now let's say this is being worn on your left hand side. You can do that and then the grip would actually, you know, be facing your uh, belly button or navel. So this is, you know, cross draw and it does have a slight cant to it. So it's, um, it's a pretty versatile holster. And uh, that's it. Now, the other nice thing about it is this retention strap. So you can either use it or not use it. But the way it works is you open up the snap. Uh, this is a 100% unloaded gun. You, you insert the gun in there. And again, I have had it for a couple of days, so it's breaking in nicely. And then you snap it in place. Now, this is the only holster I've ever seen that has a separate slot just for the hammer. So I think that's kind of cool. So being as it's a single action, um, you can never accidentally, you know, cock this hammer, uh, no matter what happens, even if you were in a scuffle or something, it's not going to, you know, get cocked. And the other thing is does tr cover the trigger guard completely um, where it did in, in the other, you know, old fashioned uh, cowboy holster. So uh, really, really nice. Again, for under 30 bucks, I don't see how you could go wrong with that. Very, very comfortable. And if you don't want the retention strap, you could just take that off just like that. And as you can see, it's nice and snug, so you could just wear it just like that. And um, you don't have to wear the retention strap whatsoever. You still have this piece of leather um, that extends almost over the back of the trigger. So 
I guess, you know, that would, you know, prevent certainly, uh, you know, people banging into it, etc. But um, uh, I think DeSantis makes a great product. I don't know how many DeSantis holsters that I have, uh, you know, I don't know, a couple of dozen, but I think it really looks nice. And for my needs, uh, where I'm not uh, trying to be John Wayne or, you know, doing cowboy action shooting, I think it does uh, pretty well. So it says DeSantis. 18990 made in the good USA, wild hog, and that's it. And I am going to leave a, a link in the description below. And uh, that's it. And speaking of links, uh, Amazon has asked me to become a affiliate because I guess they've checked my account and they see that I order a extraordinary amount of products from them. So uh, just a shameless plug. If you purchase anything from now on on Amazon that I'm reviewing, I will be getting a slight token. I have no idea uh, what Amazon will be paying me for that, but um, it doesn't come out of you know, your guy's pocket. It comes out of Amazon's pocket, and I would be embarrassed to tell you how much money I've spent on Amazon over the last 10 or 15 years. I could have bought another house in Florida probably, but uh, that's another story. So anyway, beautiful holster by DeSantis. Uh, Wild Hog, you know, cool, cool name. Ambidextrous, concealed carry, cross draw, strong side, adjustable tension. So you have this little screw right here. You just take a Phillips screwdriver and you can make it as tight or loose as you want. But I think um, I think it just actually works just perfect, uh, you know, just as is. It's broken in very nicely and I can only see it breaking and more. Again, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use this reten retention strap. I guess if I was doing some type of... Um, camping or riding a horse with this gun on that might be a nice feature to have highly unlikely that i would uh do that but uh you never know so anyway quick look what i think is really uh the best holster for the ruger wrangler all right and thank you very much for watching like always don't forget to like share and subscribe take care